College football week 11 gambling picks brought to you by Tunica, Mississippi, the South's premier sports gambling destination. They got six incredible sports books down there. They got the Fitz Casino. They got the first jackpot casino. They got Sam's Town, Hollywood, Horseshoe, Gold Strike, all these wonderful places. We've been to all of them. Would you agree they're wonderful? Oh, no, they're all fun. They are great. They are incredible, very nice stuff going down. You can find more information on it at tunicatravel.com. Over at winningcureseverything.com, you can find our football picks, along with our picks and previews and whatever. Uh, But our football picks contest. Last week, Lee B. from Madison, Alabama, he went 8-2. and two. Pretty good. No, that's pretty, pretty good. Tough. He, uh, he won strong. the tiebreaker. He got two free nights at Samstown. He got two free buffets over at Fitz Casino. It's good stuff. You could win it this week. So, let's go ahead and jump into this. Last week, I went 3-4. and four. I had a nice nice run going. Now you were rolling, man. I was rolling, but I, I took some, uh, some risks last week. I learned from my mistakes. I might have taken some more risks this week, though. I don't, know. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe they might hit for me. You went five and two last week. Finally got off, off the schneid. The schneid. That's what we call that. Ten and two. Yeah. Between college and pros. Not too shabby. Made some cash this week. I am thirty-seven, thirty-two, and one in college overall. You are thirty-three, thirty-six, and one. All you need is one more good week, one and more you good will week. be there. Our goal, by the way, is to be over fifty-two percent by the end of the year. Well, I mean, my goal is to win as many games as I can win. Well, yes, but it, the the breaking point is obviously over 52% because that's about what it takes for you to make money on these things. So we obviously are interested in making money. I'm, I'm also going to bet on teams I like and that's a bet good against teams I hate and try to have fun. Yeah. Like that's it's a lot of fun. I got a I got a job. For me making do fun this, I don't do this for a living. For me making money is more fun than but like I'll just stay away from teams I hate. No, but. man, no. That's fun to bet on teams you hate. <laughs> more fun to bet on teams you like. If you were watching on YouTube, hit that subscribe button, come into the comments, hang out, leave a comment. We will always reply, or at least we yeah, will we try. try. Yeah. We will try to always reply. Uh we have a good time in there. So toss them in. Give us your picks. Uh, if anybody can beat us three weeks straight, we'll bring you on the show. We'll call in, whatever you need to do, we'll bring you in. If you can beat us three straight weeks. But leave those picks in the comments, all right? Game number one for me. Okay. Friday night. I got the Bulldogs. No doubt about that. Fresno man. State minus three at Boise State. Brian Harson sucks as a coach. <laughs> Friday, 9, 15 p.m., it is on. I put CBS on this. I think it's ESPN two. I don't I know what. On ESPN. God, I hope I got the rest of these right. Jeez, I don't, I, I'm not going to tell you what channel it's on. Either way, it's ESPN two. Metrics have Fresno State minus three point three. That has not mattered at all in the past like two and a half years. Fresno State is twenty and three against the spread in the last twenty three ball games. Boise two and four. Sorry, two four and one against the spread since their first two games this year. Basically. Oklahoma State broke them. That's basically what happened. Fresno, 7-0 against the spread in that same span. Look, three points ain't enough. I understand it's on the blue turf. It don't matter to them Bulldogs. Let's roll. Did you say Oklahoma State? Did Did you embark the mullet? I, uh, I did. The, I, the mullet, the, I brought up the, the mullet. I brought up the Gundy. Let's go to Bedlam. <laughs> I'm going to take all 18 of those points at Oklahoma's late. Okay. Give give me Oklahoma State plus eighteen. I'm taking all those points. I don't know that they can beat this Oklahoma team. They're real good at football, but I think they're going to be close. This is one of those times where I think you can throw the records out, you can throw the teams out, because I don't think Oklahoma is that much better than Oklahoma State. Here's why: they don't play defense. Because they don't play defense, Oklahoma State can score them just as much as you well, score. And Oklahoma State. Not a terrible defense. Not a terrible defense. That's like right. they, this will be times, one of the better defenses Oklahoma plays all year. Yeah, there are times that remember the. Not the, only they're going to stop them, our our boy that came that. over from Duke, the defensive coordinator. Yep. Um, he likes to he likes to rush. He likes to bring pressure. Uh, Kyler Murray, like yes, he can get away from stuff like that. But man, listen, your throws aren't nearly as accurate when you're on the move. I, I, I think I'll eighteen points is just too much. I could uh, I could roll with that. Game number two for me, Saturday, 11 a.m. on Fox. Early game, Ohio State at the Michigan State Spartans. 
Michigan State plus four is my play. It's two teams going in different directions. The metrics have Ohio State favored by 0.2 points. Does that sound like four to you? That, no, it doesn't sound like four. That's not four. Michigan State is 3-1 and one against the spread in the last four. That only loss was to Michigan. And who was it a doozy? Um, since Urban Meyer has returned, they covered against Tulane in that first game. Five straight spread losses under Urban Meyer. Not a good thing. Michigan I, State, I'm getting them at more than a field goal here. Give me the Spartans plus four. I, I, may, I may have, by I mean I do have, money on the Spartans money line already. Oh, yeah. No, that's I, I, that's absolutely I, I, happening. I think they got a chance to win this game. Next game up. Now, I like betting money line dogs. That We all know that. You won big with, uh, with Herm I, last week. I don't know that I'm going to bet money line on this game, but give me my Boston College going up against Clemson. Clemson coming into town. Look, I got him at 20 points. It's 20 points. Now, I know that Clemson's been beating the hell out of everybody. But none of those teams, not a single one, ne'er a team they've played is anywhere close to as good as Boston College. They're just not. I don't know that Boston College can hmm. win this game. I would love to see it be close enough for them to win this game. I would love for them to pull out a huge upset. I don't need them to. I just need them to not get boat raced, man. Game day is going to be there. This, this might be the biggest crowd in B.C. history. Like I've got the same game at the same point spread. I got I, Boston I, College plus 20. I, Metrics, think, I think this is, oh, look what they did to Florida State. Look, Those teams are garbage. Yeah, Louisville, those are bad. Louisville might be the worst team those are in, bad. in college football. And this is a Saturday night in Chestnut Hill with a team that's playing pretty well. Uh, the Metrics have got Clemson by only 17. I, I was going to say, oh, that doesn't so, make me feel good then. Well, Three but points. still. I think it's going to be closer than that. I, mean, I, th I think I this think could be, be a 10-point game. Boston College has covered four of the last five against Clemson. Boston College is 3-0-1 in their last four as a home underdog. And BC is 8-1-1 against the spread as an underdog since 2016. Steve Adazio, he got some dudes. Well. They got some dudes. A.J. Brown, A.J. No, Dillon. This is Look, a good they, they, got a, they got a quarterback that can run around, that That's can right. get away from that pressure. They, he, I'm telling you. He and Dylan can make some things happen. I agree. They got a good enough defense. I would love to see them be able to win the game. I don't need now, them to. Now, I you see how fired up we are, and we both got money on Boston College plus Now, 20. last week, Clemson the, only, ended up rolling the them. only two games I lost, <laughs> the only two games I lost were the two games we agreed on. Yeah, I know. So, yeah, I was a little irritated about that. That, 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 that. that scares me a little bit. My next pick, I haven't done this in a while, and I feel like I just should. I, I, I just woke up this morning. Before I even looked at lines, I didn't know the number. I said, I'm going to bet on Mike Leach. I think, <laughs> I think I'm going to bet on Mike Leach this week. I just – I love the man. I haven't bet on him enough this year in the podcast. Now, I pretty much have money on him every week. And and he's been good to us. He's just so great for, La for college Last football. week was a, a – uh, uh, it's okay. Like a, whatever, a, yeah. a Pac-12 like after dark kind of game. Well, and that's one of those. Okay, so he and gets, it, and it he gets a letdown. They game. were they were eight and zero against the spread. That's right. And then they let one get away from them at home. Less than a touchdown against Colorado. Well, Colorado ain't a no world beater. What uh, what good? Would you get that line? Up? I got him at six. Washington State minus six. Okay. I got him at six. I just woke up this morning and I didn't know the. I, I tell you this, I didn't even know they played Colorado. I didn't know who they played. I just knew they were playing. I knew they wasn't on by. And I just woke up this morning. and I said. I think I'm going to go bet on Leach. I also have Washington Holy State minus crap. six. Oh, God, I'm going to lose this game. At Colorado. I'm be so mad. Saturday, 2.30 p.m. on ESPN. We, metrics. Should, we should probably talk about this more often than we yeah. do. The metrics have Washington State minus eight. Colorado has four straight losses there, one and three against the spread. The only cover was against Washington, and they still lost that game by 14. So, you know, whatever. That's right. Washington State should bounce back after that close call against Cal. Colorado's LaVisca Chenault is still out. Oh, yeah, they have not playing. won a single game without him. They can't, like, their offense is almost non existent in cases without him. I, I love, I mean, Colorado gave up 41 points basically all in the second half to yep, Oregon to State. Oregon State, yeah, not bad. Listen, Oof. Gary, Gary gives you lots of analytics, he's going to give you logic and reasoning. I live my life with logic and reasoning. 
I don't need. I just literally woke up and said, "I miss my friend Mike. I'm <laughs> gonna, I'm gonna bet on him." So he, I, we're, we're right. going the same way though. Next, next. No, this has a little bit of logic and reasoning. I, I kind of think the wrong team is favored here. I got Wisconsin plus ten at Penn State. I think this Penn State team is reeling. I don't know how good they are, and I. I, well, maybe Wisconsin shouldn't be favored on the road at Penn State because that line got up to ten. Oh, I got him at I got him at eight. Did I say ten? Yeah, I, uh, I've just like okay. Said, it's eight. I was looking okay. at the number under it and said ten. So I just I'm an idiot. Gotcha. All right. So plus eight. Yeah. I like Wisconsin. I like Wisconsin a lot. I think they're going to keep this game close. I think they can win. Not. I don't think they can win the game. I'm. I. I think they're going to win the game. Like I will have money line on this. I love that the number's eight. I, that means I'm getting good value on. You're money getting line. real, real good value. Uh, let's see. Game number. I don't even know what we're on. Um, game something. Virginia Tech at Pitt. I'm going with Pitt minus two and a half. Saturday, two thirty p.m. It's on ESPNU. Pitt has covered four straight against the spread. Virginia Tech, on the other hand, has lost four straight against the spread. The metrics have got Pitt minus six and a half on this one. I think Pitt is playing really, really well. They've got a good running game right now. I agree. They're at home. Virginia Tech is completely lost on both sides of the ball. Like, I love this here. Pitt is one of those, like, downhill, like, run it right at you type of teams. And Virginia Tech obviously has had a lot of trouble with that uh-huh. with Georgia Tech uh-huh. and uh, uh, Boston College last week. That's right. Look, uh, Virginia Tech on the road. I, I, I got to go against Fuente. Like, I make it five straight losses against the spread for them. I got the Pitt Panthers at less than a field goal, minus two and a half. I, I couldn't do it. I kind of almost bet Pitt, too. But I just, I, look, I got off of West Virginia, and I bet against them last week. That's the giving them the stern look, letting them know I'm not happy. But but I, I can't leave them. I can't leave them. So I'm just, just staying away. My next game. I've done really well just fading bad teams. Give me give me Notre Dame minus 17 and a half against Florida State. Florida State is an absolute garbage football team. Anybody who 17 thinks, and a half? I got them 17 and a half. Okay. I don't know. I don't know what, what it was, what it used no, to no, be. No, 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 no. It's all good. It's what it was this morning or this evening, right before we picked. I I I think Notre Dame's a good team. I think they have the capability to beat up on any team. That they want, well, maybe not any team they want, but these bad teams, they don't beat them real bad. I think some of that is out of respect. I don't think they will have, because of the history <laughs> of Florida State and who is on the front of their jersey, I don't think they'll have any respect for them. I think if they can beat them by 30, they'll beat them by 30. I can understand that. If they'll that. beat them by 50, they'll beat them by 50. I'm going down to Louisiana. Okay. East Carolina yep. at Tulane. Tulane minus 13 and a half. Saturday, 3 p.m. It's on ESPN News in case you want to turn it on on there. Metrics have got Tulane minus 16 and a half. Tulane's covered two straight, and they smashed South Florida last week in Tampa, 41 to 15. East Carolina, 0-5 against the spread in their last five. Tulane, will, they will muscle these dudes around. They're going to push them around. Look, New Orleans, it feels like a pretty good place right now. Tulane is going to get it feeling even better. Tulane minus 13 and a half over East Carolina. I got two lane minus 13 and a half. Do you really? East Carolina. God, we got three of the same picks this week. So far. I got three more to go. I don't know where you're at. Oh, Lord. I, I like this two lane team. I think I love them at home, but but even on the road, like the triple option that they run travels. I mean, it doesn't it doesn't matter. They don't need yeah. a home field advantage to, to beat you up with that. Your crowd noise isn't going to mess them up. That's just how they run the football. Team. You got that right. And I think they're going to run it all over East Carolina. Oh, I yeah. should have been fading East Carolina far before I got on it last week game number seven for me my last game how did how did you get that much ahead of me i'm not that much ahead of you you got boston college oh, Tulane, I, I washington just, state notre dame wisconsin and Oklahoma i just state. wrote down a lot of games uh yeah you did I good I gracious more games left. uh last game for me game number seven lsu minus 13 and a half at arkansas saturday 6 30 p.m on sec network Yes, it's in Fayetteville. I understand that. But the metrics have LSU minus 21 and a half. In Ed Orgeron's two appearances against Arkansas, 38 to 10, 33 to 10. Arkansas had four straight covers before last week where they lost 45 to 31 at home against Vanderbilt. That was that was two weeks ago. 
LSU is going to be pissed off. That's right. They they typically are after the Alabama game. They're going to get right. They're going to get right. Arkansas, they will manhandle this Arkansas team. Yeah. So that offensive line didn't look good at all. They they're about to look real good. Yeah. The, the look look for like 270, 300 yards rushing. rushing. Oh, though they're like going to run the football. And, and, and Arkansas and and will not be able to do anything in this game. LSU, big, big, big here. 13 and a half ain't near enough. That makes me smile. I appreciate you doing that. It's nice. Golly, I got three games. I don't even know which one I want to pick. I'm going to pick uh, la, la, la. Well, give the one you like the most and then give a couple of I don't. I don't know that I, I like it. That's the problem is I don't like any of them the most. <laughs> um, but I like them. I like them all. Uh, give me Temple. I like, I like Temple. I'm going to go with the team I like the most. Okay. How about that? Not I like to bet the most. I just like this team more than all the rest of them. I like Temple. Got plus four and a half at Houston. Houston's a really good team. Okay. Houston scores a whole lot of points. Now, up until last but week. But their defense also gives up a whole lot of points. Up until last week when, when they got whipped whipped up on by SMU, um, things, just, things just started changing. I don't know how they're going to react to that, but what I do know is this. I try to watch my leg. Temple ain't no bitch, okay? <laughs> Temple ain't going to let you just push them around. This yeah. might be one of the t- – look, they don't have the dudes to be big, big, big boy football, but don't tell them that. This, yeah, this Jeff might Collins, be, good coach. This might be one of the toughest physical teams in the country. I like watching Temple play football. Um, they they can score with anybody, and I think they can make a, some uh, the stops that they need to make. I like – I, like, I can understand it. I like Temple. I got them at plus four and a half. Houston, Not bad. Houston might score a bunch of points. The other two that I was going to pick between is I like Duke plus ten, uh, minus ten and a half against North Carolina. That's betting against a bad team. Uh, and I like Duke a lot. And then I got Wake Forest plus 17 against NC State. And that's your Thursday night game. I know. That's my so. Thursday night game. I, I just don't see that. I don't I don't. It get seems it. like a lot of points, NC especially State, after, after Wake Forest, like, NC Their State offense kind of exploded against Louisville. NC State's played nobody. Nobody at all. They played one good team. That team destroyed them. Now, well, okay, now hold on. They they did beat Boston College. Well, okay, yeah. Oh, God. I mean, they beat Boston College 28-23. No. So, oh. now that was without A.J. Dillon. Yeah, but it didn't have to matter. Boston College is a better team than that. Look, I know this. I don't think the 20 points better than Wake Forest. Okay? No, I, I you give me, se- you give me 17 and a half. I think Wake Forest can score. That means you got to score a lot to get outside of 18 on them. Yeah, I could see that. So, anyway, those are just – you don't have to take those two freebies. We want to recap it? They're not going in the column? Yeah, sure. All right, I got Fresno State minus three. I got Michigan State plus four. I got Pitt minus two and a half. Washington State minus six. Tulane minus 13 and a half. LSU minus 13 and a half. And Boston College plus 20. Got Boston College plus 20. I got Oklahoma State plus 18. I got Washington State minus six. Wisconsin plus eight. Notre Dame minus 17 and a half, Tulane minus 13 and a half, and Temple plus four and a half. You know what I should have done? What's that? I should have taken two of those had I known what you had bet and just swapped out two of the ones we like the same. I do. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Everything's all good. We gave you what you need to be a winner. Go down to Tunica, Mississippi. Put some action in on your favorite plays. TunicaTravel.com has got all of the information for all six of their awesome sports books. Don't forget, football picks contest over at WinningCuresEverything.com. Check that thing out. And, again, leave your picks in the comments. Help yeah. us out. If you do it three, three weeks in a row and three you beat us. Three weeks in a row. Look. You beat us, we're going to bring you on the show. Gary's tough to beat. Me? Nah, I hadn't been so much. That, but here's the thing. You got to beat both of us. Yeah. Well, That's, well, my problem is this. Well, not my problem. Your problem is this. I'm either going to be real easy to beat that week or I'm going to be real hard. Yeah, I've, he's, I've he's had a couple of six and one weeks, six and one, five and two. Yeah, or I've been, or he's been like one and six, one and six, two, two and, and five. five. Yeah, yeah, roundabout. So I'm either gonna be easier or probably. All right, don't forget tunicatravel.com and winningcureseverything.com. dot com. All right, so we are already over two hours and eight minutes of oh, talk time. God damn, on the podcast. Yep. Hey, but I'll tell you.